months from today, the entire country will be um, able to view, see a rare solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse. First time since 1918 that the moon will shadow the sun from coast to coast. And NASA scientist uh, Nicolene uh, Vale joining us to talk more about this uh, eclipse. Good to see you. First time in 100 years, well, almost 100 years, I suppose. I is that particularly exciting for scientists to, to study? Is, is it because it's that rare? It's um, super exciting to study the total solar eclipse um, because we can see the, to the solar corona, which is the atmosphere around the sun. Now, scientists who actually um, can study the corona by going to other places that have eclipses or even with our spacecraft that watch the corona, mm -hmm. um, the reason that this particular eclipse is so exciting is because of the fact that it's hidden in the United States and the people get to watch it. It's just going to be phenomenal. And because it's coast to coast, the eclipse itself only lasts about two minutes, but we can set up cameras all across the path of totality and get a 90 minute long eclipse by stitching all of those pictures together. And so that makes it a really unique opportunity. Interesting. Um, isn't the outer part, the part that you're talking about, the, the outer atmosphere of the sun, isn't it hotter than the surface or am I wrong? No, that's correct. It's really kind of strange. Um, the outer part of the, the sun, the corona, the atmosphere, it's millions of degrees. It's orders of magnitude hotter than the sun itself. And we don't understand quite why this is. We have a mission called Parker Solar Probe that's going to fly into the corona next year. 2018 is when it's going to launch and actually touch the corona for the first time to figure out why it's so hot. That'd be like walking away from a fireplace and having it get hotter as you walked away. It's hmm. just totally... Um, mind-boggling. How do you keep the, 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 the craft from melting before it gets, you know, too, too darn close? And can we use that technology to keep my house cool? Uh, there have been some very significant technological advances that have had to occur to make this mission happen, the Parker Solar Probe. It's um, just been a phenomenal feat to get all of these technologies um, on board, uh, seven million miles is how close this probe is going to be to the sun. For context, we've only been 27 million miles away, so this is much closer than we've ever sent a spacecraft before. So it's really been a technological feat. And Nicolene, it was so great for you to share your expertise on this and looking forward to that. In about two months, we'll be able to see that. Thank you so much. That's right, thank you. All right.